loves, it's your girl Pamela Meg here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a trend alert. Trend alert, trend alert. Guess what's trending? Freckles. Freckles are trending. So I did this photo the other day where I had a bunch of little faux freckles on, like fake freckles, and you guys loved it. And a bunch of you were like, oh my God, I had no idea you had freckles. And I've got to come clean guys. I don't have freckles. They are fake. If you're in the same boat as me and you also do not have freckles but you want to jump on this bandwagon and have cute little summery freckles because it makes you look like you're, you know, sun-kissed and you're a little cherub that just hangs out of the beach all the time and you want that look going on that looks like you're not really wearing any foundation, you're just so naturally gorgeous, then stick with me because I'm going to show you how to fake it till you make it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm seeing freckles popping up everywhere and there are actually some serious benefits to it. The first one is you can do a full face of makeup with like perfect coverage, perfect tone in your skin and then put on a bunch of freckles and it kind of looks like you're not really wearing much makeup. It like you've just put a little bit of moisturizer or BB cream on or something like that. And the other benefit is, whoop, the other benefit is if you have any blemishes, freckles are your new best friend because you can just embrace the blemishes and just Put little freckles over the top of them. So the way that I did the freckles the other day is with this tiny little product called Freck. Now this isn't sponsored or anything, I just bought this because I wanted to try it out because this is literally a product and its sole purpose is to fake freckles. <laughs> now admittedly the product is actually pretty good because it is basically like, it looks like a tiny, you know, liquid eyeliner type thing, but then it has a bit of a red tinge in it, which I found is really beneficial to making the freckles look real because real freckles do tend to have a little bit of redness in them. Basically all you do is you do your makeup, then you just grab this little product and I tend to like go easy. So I'm like putting, most of this product back into the bottle. And then you kind of start on the nose here and you just start gently tapping it and try not at any point to slide. Do a few taps. Now once you have like a little cluster and they're still wet, you want to get a pad or a beauty blender or something and like tap it down and then that will actually replicate off the pad into another spot. So you can quite quickly build up a fair few freckles. Come in guys, let's get personal. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> hey, how are ya? So, Can you see that? Bunch of them on the nose, pad, tap, don't smudge. Tap it another place. Now the key is not to do any pattern because freckles are random, which I found is a strangely odd thing because I think it's like human nature to want to draw some sort of patterns or like, like draw like one, two, three, four, or draw like a straight line or something like that. But the more random it is, the better. So when I kind of get to the bridge of the nose here, I start to bring them out under the eyes and a little bit up under the eyebrow. Because I find if you've got some that are like dispersed and not just in that little perfect area, it makes it look a lot more natural. Whoa, that's a big O. That's totally fine. You can do some big O's. <laughs> you do want them to be all different sizes and all different levels of intensity. And I'll show you how to actually enhance that in a minute. Enhance. Ah, I went the wrong way again. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of your face a little bit. A few more up here. And then some, I don't tap so that they 
are a little bit more of an intense dark color. Now I'm also going to bring some down here. I weirdly actually have some there. And you can kind of do as few or as many as you like. You know, if you just want to do the little nose area, that's totally fine. I do feel like it looks a bit more natural if you put them in a bunch of random little areas. So I've gone pretty bananas there with my little faux freckles. But the thing that's going to make it look really real is what you do afterwards. So now I have this going on. And what I want to do is take my little pad and a little bit of a powder foundation and just tap, tap on top of them. So that it looks like, okay, she's wearing a bit of makeup. I can see that. But the freckles are just poking through because it's such low coverage makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing that is pretty key with this look is that there's kind of a sun-kissed, golden, glowy, beachy vibe to it to make it look really extra special. So what I would do next is get a little bit of bronzer. I have already bronzed prior to this, but I just want to take a little bit of that, not too much, and just tap that on top of the center of the nose like that so it looks like you've had like the sun beaming down on your nose. And then onto like the apples of the cheeks where you would normally get sun kissed. And then I'm going to switch and do the same thing with a blush. Did I go too nuts with the nose? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tame that down a little bit. Calm down, little nose. Okay, so I'm looking a lot more sun kissed. I've got little, you know, rosy cheeks going on and a little bit of a sunburnt looking nose. And now the next thing that I think really sets it off is highlight. So I'm going to take this little highlight tub. This is just a ColourPop Cosmetics Luster Dust. And I'm just going to take a bit of this. And bring this down the center of the nose. And then I'm going to pick it up with a little fan brush and dust it. There we go, along the cheeks like that. And then I also take it and put it on the top of the lips. And that's my little faux freckle routine. Now, I do want to mention, if you don't have this product, you can also do it. I did it before I bought this product with this. So I have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is a really, really thick thin brow pencil so and it's also in a color three so it's not too dark you definitely don't want to go with a color that's as dark as your brows this is something that you can use as well if you just want to you know have a crack at it and try it at home you don't want to commit to buying a product specifically for this task you can just use a little brow pencil but I find that you have to kind of do little twists if you just tap it like that nothing really happens got to give it like a little twist and you can see they're a bit bigger and a little bit harder to kind of vary the color of. But when you do it like this, what I find is if you do a few and then you go straight in with the pad of foundation and pad those down and then you go again and again, it does build like different levels of freckles there. The other option is taking a little brush like this. Take that and I have a brow product here which actually has like a little brow gel on that side. So I was kind of picking up a little bit of this brow gel, then grabbing the tip of this, twisting it to make a really defined point, and then dipping that in the lighter eyebrow shade. And this I actually found even easier than the brow pencil because then, I'm just gonna use this in my little test space. You can just tap, you don't have to twist. So you can use probably a brown eyeshadow or something that's appropriate for your skin tone. I'm sure in your eyeshadow palette somewhere you have like a, a brown in there. Try to look for something that has a little bit of a red sort of tinge to it because that is gonna turn out a little bit more um, real. <laughs> Anyway, so I wanted to check in with you guys, show you how I did it, because I did post a photo the other day and all of you guys were just asking about it, so I thought I would make a quick tutorial. Let me know if you like this trend of freckles showing. There are some people who like it so much, they're actually tattooing freckles on themselves. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you serious? I've got to admit that's probably a little bit like too much commitment for me But I don't mind playing around with makeup And I do think this is actually really wearable and adds just a little bit of like summery springtime playfulness to a Somewhat natural makeup look so let me know what you think of this look in the comments down below And if you give it a try let me know your thoughts I would love to hear your feedback, but for now I will love you and leave you and see you in the next video. Oh Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss my uploads. Yes.